If you want to translate your WordPress sites into any language you want almost instantly and automatically, then this video is for you. I'm going to show you the absolute easiest way to translate your websites using Translate Press's new AI translations. It's super slick, super easy to set up. I'm going to show you all the steps involved in this video. Hi, I'm Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Let's get started. This is the website we're going to translate. It's going to be super easy, fast, and automatic using Translate Press's new AI translations. If you saw some of my previous videos for Translate Press, you saw that the process is a little more manual. You can go through each string and translate them all manually, but this video is all about making it automatic. I'll link to those other tutorials in the card above and the description down below, so you can check those out as well. So to get started, what we have to do is install two plugins. So let's go into the dashboard. Could have gone to plugins right there. That's okay, well, let's go this way. Go to plugins and add plugin. Search for translate press. This is the one we want right here. 400,000 plus active installs, four and a half star ratings, updated recently, compatible with the current version of WordPress. Everything looks fantastic. I'm gonna install this right now. If you're installing on a live site, you might wanna back up your site first, just in case something goes wrong. It's really rare, but if something does go wrong, it's good to have a backup. I'll link to the tutorial in the card up above in case you need help with that. Activate the plugin when you're ready. And now we have the free version of Translate Press installed. And if we go to the automatic translation tab, and here you can see with the free version of the plugin, you get 2000 AI words to try it out. If you want to have more AI words to translate with, you do have to upgrade to a paid account of Translate Press, which you pay for annually. And near the end of this video, I'll tell you all about the paid plans. They're super reasonable, especially when you compare it to how much it costs to hire someone to translate or the time you'd spend to do it yourself. I actually have the business plugin as well for Translate Press, so I'm going to install that and that will give us access as well. So I'm going to go to add new plugin, upload plugin, and I'm going to download the plugin from their website. Save that, install it right there, then click on activate plugin. And now if we go back to translate press under settings and translate press, then we go to the license tab. We have to enter our license key, which we get from the website here as well. Copy that, paste it in there, activate the license. And our license key is now active. If we go to automatic translation, we can turn it on by clicking this little toggle right here. We have 200,000 words remaining and the number of AI translation words do refresh, but they refresh when your plan renews. For Translate Press, that's on a yearly basis. So you buy Translate Press for a year. When the plan renews, if you decide to renew it, your AI words for translation will also refresh at that time. If we go back into our Translate Press account and we scroll down, we have an add extra words link right here. So we can add 100,000 words for 24 euro, 200,000 for 40 euro. You can see the prices up to 5 million. And you don't have to have any other API keys, no other setup, no other cost except for this. There's different places where you can find these things on the downloads tab. It's in a different spot. It's right here, front and center on the downloads tab. Now that we have this activated, we go to the general tab and we choose our languages. So let's choose Japanese, Costa Rican Spanish, and Mongolian. Sounds pretty good. And these are the languages that are gonna appear on the language switcher that we can switch back and forth to on our website. We have language settings here, language switcher settings here. I'm just gonna come down to the very bottom and save changes because the focus of this video is not the settings of the plugin, it's the automatic translations. Now if we head out to the front end, the language switcher is here, but there's no languages there yet because we just saved the new languages. So I'm gonna refresh this page and now the new languages should appear in the switcher and there they are. If I click on Japanese, it should translate everything on this page to Japanese. I would, however, be very surprised if it translated plumbing services in light blue behind this gentleman, because I think that's either an image or background text. I'm not quite sure. I'd be surprised if that was translated. Let's click on Japanese and see. Holy moly, it even translated the text behind this gentleman. How cool is that? I can't read a single character, but uh, it looks Japanese. You have to tell me in the comments if you know Japanese. Is this Japanese? I assume it is. Everything's translated except for you probably saw a couple times Elementra, which is a brand name for this theme. Oh, this wasn't translated. Didn't get access to that element. Luckily, you can still add your manual translations on top. 
Oh, and the form. Didn't translate the form fields for some reason, but translated everything else like a champ. Let's try Spanish. Brought us back to the top of the page, and this looks like Spanish to me. Spanish I can recognize. Let's see if it did the, the form fields in this one. Doesn't do this banner. And the form fields, also not. So for some reason, it's not able to access those elements. But I'll show you how you can do minor changes manually in just a second. Let's go to Mongolian, see how that looks. Translate it again. I assume this is Mongolian. And it's not just the home page that's translated. Any sub page we go to, whatever this page is, it's going to translate that as well when we go to that page. It didn't change the placeholder text in there or this piece here. So there's some minor changes you have to make. So if you're using the automatic translation or any translation method, you got to make sure you review everything and make sure it's exactly how you want it. And changes are super easy as well. But that's pretty slick. Super easy. All we did was install a plugin, add our license key, pick our languages, and it's translating. So any page that you're on, if you want to make changes to the translations, let's go back to the home page. If this is the home page, can't read Mongolian, it is. And let's see if we can translate. I'll show you how to translate stuff that was missed. For example, at the very bottom, oh wait, this marquee is translated here now too. And this form right here, if you want to make changes to any translations, whether it didn't translate them or it's using the wrong word or phrasing that you'd like to see for that language, just navigate to that page, click on Translate Page. That opens the Visual Translator. Scroll down to anything you want to change. If we wanted to, for example, translate or sorry, change the translation for this word here, click on the pencil of that text element. It brings it in over here. And here's the Mongolian version. You can change anything you want in here. Maybe we'll take that out and click on save. And it changes it for the translation. So whenever someone uses the Mongolian language switcher now, that word is not going to be there for this translation. Let's see what we can do with the form at the bottom. Uh, nothing. It looks like just by clicking on translate page, it actually translated it for us. I'm not sure why that delay was, but the form is now translated. Click on save. Let's confirm on the front end. Scroll down to the bottom. And that form is now translated. It's so easy. So easy to do. Let's see how many words we've used in our translation so far. Go to Settings, Translate Press, head over to Automatic Translation, and it should show you the total words remaining. So we have 135,000 remaining. We had 200,000 to begin with. So we've used 65,000 words so far in this video. And you watched all the translations. I didn't do any practicing before the video or anything. So everything you saw, you used up those words. So they go pretty fast, but you don't have to translate them again. So this page here is now Mongolian. It's translated. It's in the database. You don't have to run those words again. It doesn't eat them up again in the future when someone comes to this page. Just a one-time translation cost. And if you need more words, you can get them inside your Translate Press account. Just add extra AI words, and here's the pricing. So depending how big your website is, there might be a pretty big bill, 600 euro for five, five million words. And buying these translations in this way is also way cheaper in regards to time because this will work or this will be done in a few minutes versus if you hire someone, it might take a few weeks to translate five million words of text. So this is way faster, way, way faster. And you do also have other options with Translate Press. You don't have to use the AI words. You can also integrate with all the versions of Google Translate, both free and paid. And you can integrate with DeepL, both DeepL is the paid plans only. And Microsoft Translate, which you may have heard of, is actually incorporated in the Translate Press's AI algorithms, along with other translation engines to get the best possible translations using the AI tech that Translate Press has. I have another video where it shows you how to translate using DeepL and integrate that with Translate Press. I'll link to that in the card up above and the description down below. It is a little bit cheaper, but it's also a lot harder to set up. And there is more work involved. This automatic translation is the easiest way to go. If you want easy, usually easy costs a few dollars. 
it's really not that expensive. So if you want to go the easy way, definitely go this way. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, check out the other video that shows you how to use DeepL to translate your websites with Translate Press. If you got value from this video, make sure you hit the like button to let me know and click subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And then check out this video on the screen right now because it's going to take your Translate Press skills to the next level. And I'll see you there.